from Bangkok and today I'm going to extend my tourist visa in Chiang Watana in Bangkok so come with me because I'm going to show you the way how you can go if you don't want to take a taxi and also the documents and some information about the tourist visa how long you can extend it and more let's go I start this journey from the Bangsu MRT station so when you arrive to the Bangsu MRT station Either you take a MRT to come here or you take a BTS Green Line that you have to go to the Chatuchak and again change to the MRT, take it to a station and come to the Bangsu station. When you arrive here, you're gonna see this red line of the train. So you go take an exit one, two or three. Again, you will see the sign of the red line here. Take a red line train to Laxi station. You will go through this long hallway until you see the sign of the again red line. And we go up to the in fact you will go inside the Banksu train station. I mean Grand Banksu train station. In here you will see the two way. Uh, I had a video about the Talang Chan, which is go other side, but you guys have to take a rank seat to go to the north to the Chang Watana. Always you can ask the more information from the counter over there and take a ticket there. So don't worry, you won't get lost. Let's go for a train. A ticket to Lexi, it costs only 27 baht. And right now the train is at platform number three. Uh, every time you came or you come here, you have to ask them because maybe they change the platform. Let's go. So remember, you have to get up at the Lexi station for immigration. And the good news is this train also go to the Dongmong Airport. So you don't have to take a taxi or anything. You can just take a train, go to Dongmong Airport, or from Dongmong Airport, come to the city center. Let me show you the station in the digital screen over there. You can see the station in this digital board, which can change to English and Thai and here also there is another small map that this is a Bangsu train station and this is a Dongmong station that you guys can go there and also the rank seat which is a famous university there this is a Lexi station the journey from uh, Bangsu to here it took only 15 to 16 minutes without the time that you have to wait for a train to arrive. And now, from here, I guess, in this weather condition, which is raining today, I have to get a taxi or motorcycle and go to the immigration. Let's go. And finally, I arrive at immigration Chang Watana. Uh, the taxi from the train to here it just costs only 45 baht and now it's an important part of this video I'm going through the extension of the tourist visa and after that I'm gonna give you lots of useful information about extension let's go through it and I will see you after that I got my extension and it took only 15 minutes it was so quick that I was surprised actually uh, more 30 days of extension and this is the news for you guys if you are you carrying the european passport probably when you arrive at the airport you can get the 30 days of tourist visa and then later on you can come to the immigration here pay 1900 baht and get another 30 days of visa extension this might happen once or maybe twice if you have a like good reason to stay in thailand for them but after once you have to leave the country and come back again and if you apply for the visa in the country of your, I mean, in the embassy of Thailand, in your country, probably you can get the, uh, big stickers on your passport. Then you might get 60 days of tourist visa. And again, you can come to the extension here for another 30 days. I heard in the news and I saw in the news, I said uh, they're going to change from 30 days to 45 days or something like that. But when I talked to the officer in there, she told me that this is a false news and they not plan to do this at all it's still on 30 days and if you guys hold the passport from the UK America, USA or uh, somewhere I mean these two countries also is a similar you can get the 30 days but if you 
got the passport from some other countries which you can get the arrival visa probably you might get the two weeks to 30 days not sure about that so you have to check and make sure before you landed in Thailand so that was about the tourist visa and all the information that I got inside here and also remember about the documents that you have to prepare with yourself your passport photocopy of your passport photocopy of the last visa or stamp in your passport and you need to have a photo with you too and then after that you have to fill in the form which is called TM something which we see it on the screen right now you have to fill in this form you can get the form from the registration desk at the beginning of the immigration when you enter you can get that one fill in the form get the queue wait in there it's not take more than 15 to 20 minutes and you're done you can go back home and enjoy your holiday one important thing before I forgot, the price of the extension costs 1,900 baht. You have to pay in cash. So don't come here with the credit card, Visa card, I don't know, like dollar USD or whatever and say, hey, can I use this? No, they don't accept it. Just bring the cash, 1,900 baht, give it to them, easy and done. You're ready to go. Okay guys, that was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this information and uh, you remember the route, how to come to the immigration and if you want to go to the Dongmong airports, you can use the red line train. Also, many people they complain that when we come to immigration it takes long time and this, 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 this. There's a good thing actually about this complex that they always have like busy area like this they have some shopping promotion around that you can walk inside spend your time do some shopping or also there are lots of lots of nice and uh, cool restaurants in this area that you guys can go spend the time in there see chill relax have a good food have a good coffee and okay it's kind of boring but still you can spend your time here and to not complain because anyway, there's a queue for many things, but for a tourist extension, it's not that much queue. I'm so surprised about that. Anyway, guys, thanks for staying with me in this video. Don't forget to give me a like and share this information with your friends too. I'll be seeing you on the next one.